Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, a father, a husband, a philanthropist, an entrepreneur, a man of faith. The doctor said that, Florence, you can't carry this pregnancy. And they went back to theater to examine and to find out what was happening. And they realized that apparently we were twins and that my twin was taken out by the eyes of the DNC. I admonish you by the authority of God's word that if you will stand for God, God will stand for you. And if you will honor him, he will honor you. May God bless the resources of this nation and increase our mineral resources. May God bless our cocoa and timber industries. May God restore once again to us our pride and make us the pride of this great continent. May God bless Ghana with abundance of oil. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon the borders of this nation and give us peace. I met the Archbishop 46 years ago and I saw a young man who is reaching out to God and bringing God to the nations. So it started with a conversation with God when I suspected some years ago that I could be falling in love with the man that had been my cherished pastor, teacher, and closest of friends. And I remember I said to God, you must really have a sense of humor. How could this possibly be? I am approaching 50. I had much earlier wanted marriage, but honestly had given up on it. And God being so gracious and faithful had actually taught me how to be happy despite my seemingly endless status as a single woman. And I said, Father, you know me. I'm independent, opinionated. I question everything. I have zero tolerance for the irrational. And I think rather tragically, I'm always preparing what, what could go wrong. An archbishop is the exact opposite. So I ask God, how in the world could this marriage work? How can I be married to this giant, this unshakable lion whom I really do admire, but I'm not quite sure I would fit into his world and I really don't think that he would fit into my world, so I'm not sure what you're doing. And it was at that point when I really could almost audibly hear the voice of God, the Holy Spirit, just imploring me to say, just trust. Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams is one of those who has blessed our generation here in Ghana. We have to be grateful for his ministry, for the work that he has done in propagating the message of Jesus Christ and the energy, the industry, the dedication that he has brought to spreading the word of God has been an inspiration for all of us. As Bishop, we are saying we're here to say a big thank you, a big thank you for all that you have done for Mother Ghana and for the Christian religion in Ghana. The Archbishop has been a father to many, very, very clear. And it is, <laughs> it is no surprise, therefore, that everybody calls him Papa. One thing I've learned not to do 
is to take credit of any of my achievements. And it's because of where I've come from, uh, upbringings, personal experiences, uh, has taught me that I really can't take credit for anything but give God the glory. One unique thing which I find very rare in a lot of people, but it comes so naturally with our father, the Archbishop, is that he sees value in everybody. He ignores the weaknesses of people and he encourages them and nurtures them and builds them up. And therefore he leverages on the strengths of people and accommodates them. Sometime in 1981, as young students, freshly on fire, looking for great opportunities and an opportunity to serve God better, you know, we were reflecting on where to, to go and what to do. So during the holidays, one of our brothers said, look, there's a young preacher in town. And I think it is great for us to go meet him. So we came all the way from Tema during the holidays to Action Chapel. And when we came in, boy, it was a different service from what we were used to. I love people. I'm a people person. And have great love and passion for God, His work, and humanity. I can recount, and I can still hear the voice of the Archbishop in the 80s, in Benin City in All Nations for Christ. That's my personal story. When he came to preach and shook the place with the power of God. And he said, Ghana boy, James, come to Ghana. Come to Ghana. And I still remember him. I can still remember his voice from Lagos to Zimbabwe. Sitting with him in the aircraft, Air Zimbabwe, said, come to Ghana. And 32 years down the road, I have no regret that God brought me here. I have no regret that I listened to the voice of the servant of God and I've contributed my part by the grace of God. My name is Apostle Dan Kwame Safor. I was born on the 12th September 19. 25. By the grace of God, I have to meet Archbishop Duncan Williams about 45 years ago. Duncan Williams, he was a man of faith and a man of prayer. And I thank God that the good Lord use that man mightily in a special way to establish his own church. And today, everybody is a witness. He's a father, not only to us in the church, he's a father to politicians. He is a spiritual father.